Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another product review, this time from Asperix. Now this here is their AX260 Jump Starter Air Compressor Combo. Now I was sent this by the company directly. They wanted me to test and review this product of theirs. comes in this box. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. Well, this unit's got some weight to it. a pretty nice little storage case. Velcroed. It's got a little area here we can stick something in as well. A little built-in lanyard here so you don't drop it. And we've got one quick release and attachment. Be able to just one hand it, put it on there, lock it on. I love these things. Some of them come with the ones you got to keep screwing and kind of a, a pain. Here's the user manual. Multi-language it looks like here. That's your English. Telling you how to charge the unit. Telling you that if they want you to hook the jumper cables first and then hook the cables up to the unit. Um, that way there's no chance of spark. Nice detailed information here. Pretty thick. One USB Type C charging cable. Here are some adapters here to air up a basketball or other small item. Here's the jumper cables here. wires there, pretty thick. There's the button. Once you plug it in here, they want you to push that and it's ready to go. That prevents any kind of spark. Rather than powering it up and then trying to hook to the battery, it can cause a spark near the battery if it's venting because they do, if they're really low or if there's some kind of problem and you don't want to spark around that battery and make sure there's nothing else in here so this is a nice separated case got some padding here and it is lined got some padding nice And grab this out. Now it says here to fully charge before use. Uh, I'll do that before I take it out there to test out the air compressor. Now I use these all the time rather than have to go to a gas station. Um, I do have a, a bigger air compressor in my garage, but uh, these ones here are just super simple to just top them off. Looks like it's got some rubber feet here. We could stand it upright. Let's take a look here. 
some information there on the bottom. This is an ABS plastic. Pretty rugged here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Be able to show you the bottom here. That's the specs on the battery. Giving you some instructions that are always on the unit because you never know when you run out and grab this thing to help somebody you forget to use their manual you've got it right here on the unit so that's always nice you can see the motor and the vent here for the compressor venting here on the other side looks like there's just vents here on the bottom area here I like the color here, it really helps with keeping it visible, especially for emergencies. It's got one USB port there, it's upside down. Now that looks like it's an input only. So this is the only charging port, which is a standard 2.4 amp. Got the jumper port here, if I can get it open. Again, they want me to stress to the viewers, you clamp these on the battery first and then plug that unit here into this jumper and then press the start button and then start your vehicle. That's to prevent any kind of spark. Now this here is the air compressor port. And screw this in here. Sorry to be off camera, but I'll make sure I was getting it right here. That way I don't hit the camera as it swings around. So that's what that looks like there. It's got a little gripper grommet on there to help you tighten it on here one hand it put it on the tire I like this a lot easier tube feels like it's good quality now according to their specs that is a 3000 amp so realistically it's probably 800 to a thousand now there is a protection piece here I'm gonna remove that to make it look a little bit better on camera not that it looked bad but so you've got a series of buttons here positive and negative here power button looks like a flashlight button and that's for probably the air compressor possibly so let's turn it on Ooh, green display green is my favorite color and the battery here is fully charged so and it shows the car so you can probably change that yeah you can change it to smaller vehicle bicycle basketball so it's nice to be able to change that from the vehicle you can also press down and hold change that from PSI depending on what your country uses so I'm going to change all of them here yeah they're all PSI now press and hold this one to PSI bar and whatever country you live in uh, that you use so now when you go to PSI with the SUV hopefully it'll keep that in memory and right now it's set at 35 
put it at 36. That's what my vehicle takes, and my other one is 35. So nice display on here. Of course, green is my favorite color. Now let's go ahead and turn on the air compressor. Let's see how loud it is. Try not to wake up my family here. Yeah. Shut it off automatically by holding it. It'll detect that tire pressure and shut off the unit. So not really that loud. Nice. Turn it off and on with that button as well. So now let's take a look here at the light. Okay, so that's going to provide a just a glow. It's probably about 25 lumens, maybe less. Not real bright on that. Got a blinking SOS. Click it in again. We'll shut it off. Now this unit should automatically shut off when you're not using it for long periods of time. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out now. Should time out. 150 PSI. It's pretty strong. And waiting for it to shut off here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Show the unit some more while waiting. Feels pretty rugged here. It's a pretty heavy unit. So now according to the literature here, it can jump start a gas vehicle up to 10 liters and a diesel is 8 liters. So Got a V6, four cylinder V8, should be able to jump start that with these. There it goes. So we're looking at about a minute. And this will automatically shut itself off to conserve the battery. All right, well, let's uh, take this out there and uh, do a little demonstration on a tire and uh, Airing it up, that is, and uh, see how well this does. Be right back. Okay, we're going to test out this air compressor. Let's go ahead and see how it does. Able to one hand it here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully, we got to set at 33, so we'll put it at 35. And just like that, it's pretty fast on one tire. Let's check another one. Okay, so now I'm on the same side, but on the rear. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you a couple of the tires. I'll check them all, but uh, this did really fast on my other vehicle, so I'm not seeing any issues so far. So this one here says 30 pounds. And we're 
we're at 35. Just like that. Nice. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. This did just fine. Uh, you do all four tires. It did so without any issues. The hose did get a little warm here at this end, which is normal because the motor is heating up. But it did just fine. I don't have a vehicle to jump start, but I will try this out the first chance I do get. Now these here have really helped me out, especially family members that have needed jumps. So even if you're good Samaritan, want to help out somebody in the parking lot, they can't start their car, these things really do come in handy. And a lot of times they'll say, hey, what is that? Let's see. I did a review on it. You can check out the link below my video. And they literally say okay, and they check it out, and they end up buying one. Because these are great, and a must-have for any emergency that you might have. As far as gift ideas, I think they make great gift ideas. Now this one here is one of their larger versions, because it has the compressor, but a lot of their other units are a little bit smaller. They do have higher cranking amp versions of this, but this one here will do fine for most applications. Really like the air compressor in this. Uh, feels like a solid, easy to operate this, not difficult. That display, you can read it in the daytime, no issues there. Case is also very nice. I put some of the information back in here instead of in here it's on the side pocket user manual and the other adapters but this is a very nice case overall i'm impressed with this unit it will definitely do the job airing up your tires and i'm pretty sure that it's going to do just fine for your jumping the vehicle up uh, the difference here is some of the other ones you got to make sure it shows right here that little boost button that's what you're going to push and it'll activate this jump starter rather than none of these buttons will some of my other ones they do here but you want to hook up the cables they want me to reiterate that very carefully hook the cables up first and then plugging in to the port here on the unit like that once you do so and you're ready to go hit that boost button and that'll activate the jump starter and be able to jump start the vehicle they also say um, in an email that they do that because some batteries they may be too far below and some units they won't recognize it so it's actually an added feature to make sure the battery gets that boost uh, unlike some other jump starters if they don't detect any voltage at all it won't jump start so this here is guaranteed to at least try to jump start the vehicle regardless of the voltage so that's a huge plus in my opinion well i want to thank asperx for sending me this ax260 combo air compressor jump starter to review now if this is something you're interested in getting I will leave a link to their Amazon store now they are working with me right now to get a special click the coupon to save or it might actually be an actual code that you do before you check out or during checkout depending on which one it is in any case that'll help you save some money on this kit just in case you're interested in getting it well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Otherwise, you can please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these jump starter air compressor combos to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.
Well, let's take this outside, see how it goes in the wilderness. <laughs>